It's 20 years since one of this country's best-loved comedians died. Now, Silver Screen Documentary has brought, brought Billy T and his unmistakable laugh back to life. Entertainment reporter Joanna Hunkin looks at Billy T. It's a movie. If you fellas are looking for trouble, fellas come to the right place. Billy T. T. Movie poses plenty of questions. Like, what's in a name? He went into the volcanics as William Tytoker and he came out the other end as Billy T. James. Where did that infectious giggle really come from? <laughs> Billy told me that that laugh came from a guy he used to work with when he was driving, I think, cattle trucks it was, or trucks, up in Wangarei. That laugh actually came from Kawarau. And did anyone know the real Billy T? We all thought we knew him, but we didn't. Unfortunately, it only goes part of the way to answering these quandaries, rounding up a host of friends and former colleagues to speak about the star. I never saw a green vegetable pass his lips. Billy's wife and daughter chose not to participate in the film, and without their intimate knowledge, the film struggles to reveal any new insights. Instead, we're left with a string of talking heads, many of whom just repeat the same sentiment, interspersed with remastered archive vision. This is your host, Dexter Fitzgibbons. Hang on to your mangle wurzels. You got that, honky? The range of clips spans Billy's whole career, from Radio Times to his final live show, reminding us of Billy's incredible musical talent, as well as his comedy. Such clips are the icing on this dense doco cake, and a few more would have sweetened the film no end. Ultimately, Billy T. Te Movie features too many people saying not quite enough. The film touches on the more contentious parts of Billy's life, but doesn't tackle them head on, at times confusing the issue altogether. Still, it takes more than that to dilute the charm of William Taitoko, who still commands the screen more than two decades after his untimely death. Three and a half stars. I'm back. <laughs> Joanna Hunkin, One News.